Hello, so welcome to our first video to learn the piece called Allegro in C, one of the grade two Trinity pieces. Um, there's four lines of music here, um, and um, we're gonna tackle basically the first line today in this video. Um, now, the first thing to say is, uh, as, the name which, as the name would suggest, this piece is in the key of C. Uh, when, by the way, if they don't say major or minor, when they say, you know, like something in D or something in G, uh, you can assume that it's in a major key, unless they use the word minor. So Allegro in C means uh, a quick piece in C major. Uh, so uh, I really want you to try and work carefully from your music here now. So first of all, we're just going to work on the on the right hand bit. Uh, as it's in C major, we don't have to worry too much about any sharps or flats. In fact, the entire piece apart from uh, just a couple of accents, there's an F sharp there, just, uh, scanning through. Yeah, that's the only non-white note in, in this piece. Um, so that will help a little bit with the reading. Uh, but also it's really important that we use the fingering that's marked because the fingering that's marked will get our hands into the best positions to play this piece really well. So on the first bit, we're starting on a G. Oh, and the other thing to say, two four, two crotchets in a bar. So we're starting on a G and going up to a C but that's uh, with your fourth finger, which is kind of where you should end up. If you've got your thumb on a, a G, your fourth should naturally go into a C. So that's your first bit. So it's gonna go G, C, 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 and then we've got some semiquavers. So if that was going and one and two and one, ha, ha, and two, hoo, 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 that's, that's gonna be quite quick, that bit. So let's have a look at that little run. I'm just gonna show this to you up, up to this point here. So we start on the G, we play four C's and we're going to play another C but this is the beginning of the run so back to G walk up now don't put your fourth on the C bring your thumb under to get yourself into the new position skip up step down skip up step down I'll show you again I'm going to do that three times so here's the second time So this time, have a little go with me. If I just do an and, and here we go. And. So pause the video if you need to, uh, have a couple of goes at that, um, and then carry on. So I'm gonna carry on now. Uh, I wanna bring the left hand straight under that. So I'm going back to my music again. In our left hand, we've got a bit of what's called an arpeggio. So you'll be learning some arpeggios for your grade two. Uh, so an arpeggio is this sort of thing. And that's a C major arpeggio I did there. Now you're only gonna need a bit of that. So now I don't know why I quite like to play arpeggio, this C major arpeggio. Maybe it's just a habit I've gotten over the years. I tend to use a third finger which isn't strictly correct. You'll notice in the fingering, we've got a fourth finger here. So excuse me if I end up using my third just force of habit, but you can do either. So, so you're gonna have your fourth finger on the E, or some people like to use their third on that, but you definitely need your little finger there, and you definitely need your second finger there, and your thumb. Now, can you see how that's gonna go under the C? So you play the first two notes, and then dum. Dum, dum, da. So, I'll show you how that works. So, we, here's the first bit, here's the right. Thumb, three, two, four, three. Now, going back over that, I play the first two notes, and as I repeat the C's, I put my arpeggio under it. And that's where it comes off. Notice where it comes off. So let's just do the maths on this. So there's that long C there. Now, normally crotch is not terribly long, but you've got to play four whole notes with that C held under it. And then there's the rest. The C comes off on that where you take your thumb under there. Just, to, just try and get that from day one, because it's the sort of thing that's quite hard to add later if you get in the habit of doing differently. So this is what we have. So there we go. Um, so that's the first little section. Let's look at a little bit more. So again, you might want to pause the video, go back uh, over that. And then when you're ready, come back to the video and let me show you the rest of the right hand now to the first line. 
So this is what we have for our right hand so far. Now we should end up with your third finger on E. If your third finger isn't on E, something's gone wrong. There it is, third finger on E, and then one and three, you're going to play a little chord, C and E. So your hands should already be in the right place for this. So E, C and E, C and E, C and E. And then you play the E, then the C, going up as far as F, skipping down, that's the third, and then going up in steps. And I'm just going to take it one note further. It goes up to a chord on your three and five, which I'll show you now in a second to finish it. So this is what we have. So first bit... So you get to there, then one and three, one and three, one and three, and then into a run. Skip. Now, you'll want to put just your little finger down. Put down your little finger with your third, because that's the beginning of the next line. So if I go from that bit where you had the C and E's, so you do an E on its own, then three chords. So let me play you the whole of the first line. So make sure you can play the whole of the first line. Okay. Now, so far we have put in a little bit of left hand. We do that bit. Keep the C. Take it out. Now. As you start doing the chords, if you look at your music, you'll see we're going to do the same pattern in the left hand under the three chords. And as you go to do the E, we're going to have the C there. And again, hold it. And that's the final, that's basically all we want to achieve in this video is that first line. So I'm just going to do it a couple more times and leave it with you. You can always pause if you, or, or just watch it and pause the camera and have a go. So... Um, I'm going to actually count to three before we start. Because we're playing so slowly here, uh, it kind of works to count to three. So if I go one, two, three. And there we have it. So I haven't talked about the speed too much. It's Allegro, so it's going to be fairly quick. Not, not crazy quick, but it's going to be fairly quick. Um, and also it's forte, it's nice and loud, okay, so I'm going to do a slightly faster one now, uh, and instead of counting in fours, which were the quavers, I'm going to count it, it's supposed to be counting this in crotchets, so it's going to go and one, and two, and one, and two, like that, okay, one, two. Okay. 